Why hello there guys, my name is Fat Ninja Turtle, and I have some berry pomegranate meal water here, so I'm I'm excited to do another tutorial. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to do this um, stroke effect that I did whoopsies that I did in my um my edit for Enjoy Mitt. That's how you pronounce it. So um basically it's just two stroke layers. I have two I have one on each side, it's just stroke layers, keyframed to uh yeah, just basically just keyframed going to the end and to the front and you know how it is. And basically they're 3D and I just have them on a rotation and I have magic bullet looks on this one and that one doesn't have it, it's just a glow layer. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So first of all I'm going to just turn these layers off and then I'm going to hit command Y to make a new stroke. I'm going to hit like a nice, um, actually I'm just going to do the same color, nice teal. There we go. And then I'm just going to call this stroke layers and oh my gosh layer and since I already have it called stroke there I'm just gonna call it stroke layer then I'm gonna bring it underneath the 3d text and I'll show you why in a second actually I'll just bring it over now because I don't want to see that okay so now you're gonna grab your pen tool you can do that by pressing G or you can just click pen tool oh my cuckoo clock's going off and now you guys can just grab your pen tool and do some curves so you can do as many as you like you can even you don't need to make curves you don't want to but I think the curves look more natural and um, that curve right there is not really nice, but whatever. It's just a tutorial. You guys can fix that yourself. And um, now what you guys want to do is go to Infects and Presets. And, oh, I have it right here. And you want to type in Stroke and drag it onto the solid. Then where it says Paint Style, hit Reveal or Original Image. Then you can tell that you have a nice little stroke. Yay. Now you can make the brush size a bit better, a bit bigger, sorry. So you make it 7, which uh, that's a good size, I guess. Now you want to hit 3D layer, so now it's a 3D layer and it's tracked into the 3D space because I have my 3D camera tracker here. Then you want to hit R for rotation, and you want to make this lined up so it's kind of like sideways like that, like on the preview I had before. Now what you want to do is bring it underneath your text layer so that your text overcomes it, and I just want to bring this, whoopsies, I want to bring the stroke um, so it goes underneath completely. So that's good. Now I already have keyframes um, where uh, it's not not keyframes markers on where I want the strokes to finish and stuff. You guys can do that yourself. Basically, you just uh, hit Shift One to make a marker, and yeah. So basically, for the stroke layer, where the one is at, no sorry, where the two's at, that's where I want the um, the end to be a hundred percent. So the end, if I bring that down, the end will go down. If I bring this up, the the start will go up. So basically, you guys kind of get that concept. So it's at two right now. I'm gonna bring it all the way to the end, and I'm gonna make this zero. Okay. Now I'm gonna to go to the one, the one marker, and I'm gonna start bringing the end uh, towards, well, towards the end, I guess. I mean, the start towards the end. So I'm gonna hit um, on the zero keyframe. I'm gonna bring it down to about here. That sounds reasonable. Maybe less. It's up to you guys. And then I'll bring this to 100, so the stroke is completely gone. And then basically you're you're basically done. I'm just gonna let it save. And um, now basically all it is is an animated stroke that's in your 3D space. And you can go you can go and type in glow, so it adds a little vibe to your stroke layer. Where is it? There you go. So now it's glowing. It looks nice and everything. Also, another thing you can do is, this is what I did, basically I just have, oh whoopsies, I have two stroke layers and one of them is, they're both the exact same, the only difference is that one of them is on the other side, so I can just hit command D to duplicate it and you can see it gets brighter because it's in the same spot, then you want to hit R for rotation, and since this is negative 66, I'm going to put this to about 66, I'm just going to look at, I'm just going to see if it looks nice, I'm just going to drag it over there first. Oh my goodness, what is it doing? Okay, um, is that good enough? Yeah, there you go. So basically, it's just the same layer, just uh, different. I can mess up the keyframes, so they're different timing. So just drag these around, mess it up. You just want them to be a little offset from one another. And then just drag all the keyframes. This is what I did for the last one. You don't need to do this if you don't want to. Whoopsies. You drag all the keyframes. I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, okay, whatever. But basically, you can just you can just uh, easy ease each keyframe. Oh my god! There we go. 
keyframe, assistant, easy ease. And you can just do that for each one if you want to. I'm not going to do it because it's just going to waste time. But basically, that's all I did. And yeah, you're basically set. Another thing that I added in the other 3D track that I had yeah, at the very beginning, I had one of them. One of the strokes was a little more wiggly. What you can do is drag on tur turbulent displace, and you put it on one of your layers. I don't don't put them on both. It won't look nice. It'll just look a little offset. Then basically, I'm just gonna hit evolution, and at the very beginning, I'm just gonna keyframe it. At the very end, since it's three seconds, I'll put three. That sounds reasonable. So yeah, that's good. And if you guys want your strokes to be different colors. Um, you can just drag on a magic boat looks, so one just looks different, and we'll just stroke, uh, we'll bring it onto this side, I guess, that's what I did last time. So the wiggly one is also colorful, yay. And then you just open magic boat looks up, just let it load, if it ever does load, there we go. And then you can just drag on a bunch of effects, I'm just going to bring on any preset that I have, so yeah, that looks good, I guess. Just a little white, and it, it'll just have like a white little patch in the middle of it. It'll look cool. And yeah, there you go. It's white in the middle, and it gets blue to the end. So that's basically it, guys. Um, it's really simple, just like the last tutorial I'm making the shadow. But this one's a bit more advanced, I guess. And um, yeah, that's how you make a stroke, a 2D stroke in a 3D layer. And um, you can also, if you guys like, you can uh, add a star glow. But... That's a plugin. I guess I'll leave the link on how to get that in the description. But on the star glow, it makes it look kind of like that. And you can bring the streak light down to like two. So it's just nice and colorful. That's up to you. If, but I recommend if you do it on one, you do it on the other one as well. So it doesn't look kind of messed up. But then um, you can change the colors by going color map and yeah, and the presets and everything. But I'm not going to use that for now. So thank you guys for watching. Um, another thing I want to point out is I almost have 300 subscribers which is really exciting. I can't wait to make the editing contest because I hope a lot of pe a lot of you guys uh, submit videos there because um, I think it's going to be exciting for you guys and even if you're not an editor, you guys can become one and be badass. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day and see you later guys.